We're going to create a traditional hider smokehouse for um, the fish which we've been catching. Um, and we're going to smoke up some of the salmon. And I'm really looking forward to it. I love smoked salmon. <laughs> so can you run us through the construction of this, Steve? This is a, a traditional smokehouse, right? Yeah, this is basically a small version of a smokehouse. Uh, so what we're going to do is dig a hole in the ground and then frame in uh, basically a, like a wooden box, so to speak, and then we'll put racks in and then we'll hang our fish inside the racks. It's actually really simple construction. To start, there are eight corner posts, then timber cut to size and locked in between each paired post to form the walls. Simple. Final stage is to clad the smoker with moss from the woods. This will help keep the smoke in and the wind out. Okay, we've constructed the main part of the smokehouse. What do we do now, Steve? Well, we uh, put some cedar in there and uh, that's gonna give us our coal base. And then we're gonna take wood from the tree we chopped down, put it in there and uh, put our fish in, put the roof back on and bingo, we got smoked fish. There we go. Fish. Whoa. Steve wastes no time slicing the salmon perfectly, ready to hang in the smokehouse. So we've filleted our fish, we've constructed our smokehouse, we got the smoke coming up. Last thing to do, we'll put the roof on and we wait. The sunlight's fading, Steve and I settle down for our last night ready? on the Haida Gwaii. Okay. We come back to the smokehouse. And it's just started smoking up, so we'll finish smoking. We'll give this a go. It's fully cooked. It just tastes like smoked fish. I mean, really, really nice. Perfect. They obviously knew what they're doing. This is nice, really nice. It's got a smoky taste. 